on a Saturday in December between the sounds of readers looking for their next good book and the hum of lattes being made in the cafe. It's an old game, right? The um, roots of it go back a thousand years. You'll find members of the Challengers Chess Club. And the object is to protect your king. A war game dating back to India around the 6th century, some 2,600 years ago. Six pieces on the board to move at your calculated whim. Rook, bishop, knight, pawn. Arguably the most important piece in chess, uh, the queen. All used to protect the king in battle. Like in armies of a thousand years ago, kings are not allowed to fight each other. There are thousands of different ways to play the game. There are so many secrets of the past in chess. And even more possible outcomes. The past competing against the present as technology changes the way players move their pieces. Computers have changed the way the game's played a lot and now we understand how smaller advantages can, can decide the fate of a whole game in a, in a much more robust way. Wait a second, I think you just checked you didn't I think you did. Good game, man. Players of all ages, backgrounds, and knowledge sitting across from each other. You don't have to be a chess nerd. To be. For some in this Oklahoma City club, it isn't always just about the game itself. It's a game that millions of people all over the planet play, so I think this is something where you can feel a part of something greater, you can be a part of a greater global community. It's a sense of being a part of something outside yourself. It's one of the few things that has really stood the test of time. A vessel historically connected to war and conflict, thousands of years later, being used to create friendships and connect people from across the world. For me, it's taught me so much about um, empathy you have to see from someone else's perspective.